Hey, how's it going guys? Spy here with another Scrap Mechanic episode. Last episode we checked out the pool, the gym, and the locker room. And this episode what we are going to be checking out is a bunch of different things. There are a bunch of changes in the vault and we are going to head down to the atrium first thing. And here we go. I was looking at the comments of the last video and you guys have suggested quite a bit of awesome things. Anyways, let's head down here to the bottom of the atrium. And in here, we have something a little different. Now if you guys remember this room, this is the storage room. And at the back of the storage room here, we actually have a new ventilation duct here. And I was looking at the comments and some of you guys had some pretty awesome ideas for secret rooms. So there is a couple secret rooms in this fallout shelter today, so stay tuned if you guys want to see them. That sounds a little cheesy, doesn't it? <laughs> but anyways, the first secret is this one here, and this one is kind of connected to another one in a sense. Not really, it's just for looks at the moment, but I'm not sure if I'll expand it later. But anyways, we open this up by sledgehammer it like this. Ooh, look at that, secret entrance. Ooh. And down here, what we have is just a ventilation duct that just goes over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And as you can see, there's a ladder going down there. And that's pretty much it. You can't, you can't go down there. There's nothing there. It's just a dead end, really. Okay. Come on, I'm stuck down here. Oh, 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 whoops. Oh, no. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Anyways. Let's head back out here, and the way I reset these is I actually just have a controller nearby, and I just do that, and then that again, so it looks a little more hidden. But you guys are watching this video, so you don't really have a problem with finding them, so, um, yeah, I guess they're not really secret, but in the sense of storyline, they are secret, so, yeah. Anyways, let's head back to the bottom floor, the newest floor of the follow shelter. And down here, there are a bunch of new things. So, we got a whole new hallway over there that leads to a few new rooms, and we are going to be checking those out in a bit. But anyways, let's head back to the pool over here. There is something new over here as well. So, you guys have suggested something, and it is simply amazing. I don't know how I haven't figured it out before, but if you have been to some pools before, you might recognize this. This is a sauna room. Look at this. That is awesome. <laughs> we have a little sauna room here. We could just hop up here, relax, and yeah, do sauna things, I guess. There we go. Pretty cool. It looks very, very warm in here because of the uh, lights there. I really like it. But anyways, I had to get rid of an inflatable raft there, but that's not really a problem because it's just a raft. You can't really float on it anyways because this this water you could just you could just walk on. But let's head over here, right in the inflatable donut, and I added a little hole here so you can kind of chill here, make it look like you're floating, I guess. That was another of the suggestions. But anyways, let's head into the locker room here or the change room. And there is another secret in here. Can you guys spot it? I don't know. It might be a little obvious. But anyways, let's break it open again. Here we go. There we go. Um, yeah. There is a sensor back here. And I forgot to actually turn off the sound. But there we go. Anyways, let's head back here. And back here. This is like a little secret room. A little cash room where someone has hid from the general public of the vault. Set up a little bed here, still some supplies. Just been living down here for some reason. They're like a little rat person. I don't know, I don't know. But anyways, we got another ventilation duct here. That might lead to some other rooms like the storage room, but for now, it is a dead end, as you can see up there. It's just for looks. And up here, there's a fan right there, blowing the air. Yeah, pretty cool. And that's pretty much it for this little secret room here. There's not much else to it except there are Nuka-Cola laying around, and yeah, let's head back out. I have to reset these now. It's not a very big problem. You just grab them like this, and pop them on that, and there we go. But anyways, that is the change room, and that is pretty much all of the changes over here. So let's head up here, and let's go check out the new hallway. And this new hallway has a few 
cool new rooms as well. So let's head down here. As you can see, it is quite different from this hallway here. This one looks a little more wide, but that's because we don't have the borders here. Anyways, let's head down here. And over here, we got some more spaces for rooms. These have not been made yet. I don't know what I'm going to put here, but if you guys have any ideas, let me know if it fits the general theme of this floor. That would be pretty cool. So let's head over here first. This room is actually the greenhouse or garden room. I'm just going to say garden room because it's not really a greenhouse. But let's go inside here. And we got a light switch here to turn on the lights in here. And as you can see, this room is filled with plants. This is where they grow all the food and the plants for decorations. Look at this. This is awesome. There's a bunch of pipes everywhere. There's water pipes on the roof. Uh, we got little sprinklers there to water the crops as well as there and we got some valves to turn off the water if we really want to and these buttons here actually turn off the grow lights there yeah pretty cool and in here we got another type of garden here i'm not sure what they would be growing in this kind of stuff but um yeah we got more grow lights and that is pretty much it there we got some sinks here of course just in case you got to manually water plants and then over here, what we have is a, another little growing area. This is like, I guess, the, uh, not really incubation area, but this is where the plants get started. We got um, these little tubes here so that they can grow the plants way faster. As you can see, they're, they're just starting out. They're just starting to grow. They're just starting to grow and they'll turn into big plants soon. Um, of course, we got more buttons here to turn off the lights. And that is pretty much it for this room here we got some cactuses of course you got to have cactuses okay so let's head back out here and out here what we have is i guess like another storage room but this storage room is a little different we got plant-based stuff down here um as well as a freezer to store the fresh food i it might not be an actual freezer it could be a cooler but let's open this up here as you can see we got another fan there on the air conditioning unit there we got some boxes of food and other supplies like that and yeah that is pretty much it for that let's close this here there's a timer for the fan so it does not turn off until the door shuts there that's pretty good anyways that is pretty much it for all of the changes in the vault so far. I went through it pretty quick. I don't really want to ramble too much when I'm doing this kind of stuff because I don't want I don't want you guys to be too bored. I want to showcase all of the new stuff first and then ramble about random stuff. But anyways, like I was saying guys, if you have any suggestions for rooms at all, let me know if they fit the themes of that floor. It would be pretty cool. I think what I'm going to be doing though is adding like some workshops down there. Maybe a cola factory because you guys have been requesting that. Let's hop back outside. You guys seem to really like it when I show you the progress of the vault from outside. So I'm just going to hop out here. Yeah, there we go. Close that up. We don't want to leave a hole there. And let's go. Here we go. Look at this. Whoa. It has expanded even more that whole area there was just added in the last two episodes that is pretty insane and guess what guys i'm not seeing a very big frame decrease except in some specific areas because i gotta fix some problems there they're not totally separated but that's not too hard to fix i think i'll be fixing that in the future but look how many poles there are it it expands like four every episode Maybe not. Maybe like three. But that's still crazy. That is still pretty crazy. So let's get back up to the vault here. Uh, oh, I removed that. Um, there we go. Pop this down like this. Hop out. And we will be up there. Cool. <laughs> but anyways, that is pretty much it for this episode. Like I was saying, I will be adding a ton more rooms, including more secret rooms. And these secret rooms are going to be referencing the old fallout shelters. And hopefully, um, I have some pretty good ideas for that. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you have not already, I am very grateful for everyone who has supported this series so far. And thank you guys so much for subscribing and watching. 
And remember, stay sweet. Bye.